Do you ever like wear certain things like lav mics and then realize like, how do I get people to wear this stuff? This is so uncomfortable. <laughs> Sorry if I look sweaty as heck right now. Like I'm glistening right now. There's a lot of fires going on in the Okanagan. And so a lot of the smoke is actually coming into the lower mainland, making everything like really muggy and kind of just extra sweaty. We only got like two months of summer here, so. Crouton's probably gonna join me for this one, uh, just depending if she wants to. Do you wanna come up? Is that what you want? Huh? She's probably like, why are you sitting here talking to nothing? I know. Sorry guys, it's been a minute since I've posted anything. I've just been really busy with work, which is great. I'm very grateful. I think I've just been very reluctant uh, to post anything. Been wanting to for so long. It's a lot of just initiative on my part for just not posting. And I actually want to make a video on that, on why I don't post very often. It's not like some strategical method or anything. It's just literally the fact that I'm, I lack a lot of initiative. Yeah, starting YouTube's pretty hard, so. Crouton's coming out. She's coming for that moral support. All right. Talking about tripods. Tripods. Everybody loves tripods. What makes a good tripod? Uh, well, for one thing, um, something that can hold a camera up without looking like it's gonna get knocked off by a light breeze. Uh, this is my current tripod. It's been really good for me, especially when I was just starting out. You know when you try something, then you compare it to the old thing and it instantly starts to feel like garbage? That's kind of how I feel right now. KNF very kindly sent me a couple tripods because they watched my Promus video and like really liked it. They haven't seen this video or have any say in what is said. So they are watching it for the first time just like you. This is the first one. It's a compact, lightweight travel tripod. It has some really cool features up its sleeve. First of all, it's just as thin as my current tripod, yet it's so much stronger and stable. I think a lot of it has to do with the carbon fiber legs, which makes it light, but also pretty strong. I was shocked to find out that this thing can actually turn into a monopod in a pinch. Gone are the days of having to lug around a tripod and a monopod, especially if you're a wedding videographer. Those things can get pretty heavy. Everything I found annoying about my old tripod, they seem to have addressed it on this one. Clamps versus this twisting mechanism to lock the legs. One dial just to adjust the fluid head instead of this weird double dial thing that never really made sense to me. Sturdy legs that don't wobble, even with a heavier load. These little buttons that release the legs and allowing them to cue Get Low song. It easily fits into your backpack. It also comes with this really nice travel bag, so if you don't want to get it knocked around and scratched, you can put it in that. Oh, and by the way, all of this B-roll is being assisted by the second tripod. This is the bigger one. This is the big daddy. It's a beast. And it also doubles as a monopod. You may be asking, why does it have two fluid heads? Well, that's because it can also be turned into a top-down camera tripod. You can easily position the camera directly above whatever you're shooting. That entire segment with the mini tripod, I use this angle. Everyone's probably thinking, oh dude, tripods are boring. Like, they literally just sit there and hold your camera. I think having a good tripod is really, really important, especially if you're a solo photographer or a videographer, whether you're shooting an interview, a B-roll segment, a talking head of yourself, a time lapse, or you just got into a fight, but you need quick access to a baton. I highly recommend getting this tripod. Maybe not for the baton part. The reason why I don't have the other one here is because it's actually holding up my reflector that I'm using as a diffuser for the light. I have the 90 degree fluid head coming out holding onto the reflector, which is wild. Usually you need like a C stand coming out. Yeah, I'm just kind of jerry rigging this thing together because I just didn't really have anything for that. So I used it for that <laughs> it actually works pretty well. Yeah, I actually really like these two tripods, I think they're great. And I think they're super, super easy to use. I love the fact that you can also use it as a monopod if you really want to. And these things are just built really well. They all have like really nice grips. Panning access is really smooth, good dials. So yeah, if you're looking for a new tripod, I highly recommend either of the two of these tripods. So the mini tripod only weighs about 2.2 pounds. It's about 14 inches long when folded with a loading capacity of around 17.63 pounds. So the bigger tripod can hold up to 10 kilograms or 22 pounds. So like when you think about it, they're not that far off in terms of weight, you know, like 
This little tripod is probably like half the size, but it can hold almost the same amount as this one. Like this one is so small and it can easily fit into your bag. Put almost any camera on it. I have this really funny picture of me using it with like a whole bunch of crap on it. And he was even tilted over like this with like the ball head facing over and the ball head held up. It was great. I would say if you're looking for a tripod that is good for traveling. Oh, I forgot to mention. This tripod's great because I actually had to do this. So like, you know, there's like the monopod function. Say if you're filming yourself, this is, this is literally a selfie stick. Like you can just like turn this out, make this face you, maybe extend a leg or two. And then boom, look at that. You got a selfie stick. This is what I did actually in Whistler. And this one, you can easily do that. So even while the tripod is like on your backpack, you can just detach one of the legs, take off the head, and then attach them and then you just instantly have a selfie stick and you can just be like vlogging wherever you go. Having a good tripod means having a versatile tripod, something that is like not just there to sit and hold your camera. If you really want something that like replace some other tools that you have, you can take off the head on that one and then you can even replace it with a longer shaft or something and then make an even longer 90 degree top down camera. It's great. And then as long as it's like on the ground steady, you're, you're fine and you can get like whatever shot you want. So I know like movement and everything having handheld is like like very, very trendy right now. And it's very in in terms of filmmaking. But I think we tend to underestimate what the importance of having a good tripod is. I will link them in the description below. But yeah, no, that's pretty much it, guys. Like, I, I don't know why, but I've never been so excited about tripods. I, I was just thought they were kind of boring, but I actually just ended up filming a bunch of different content with it because I was like, this is great. I'm so glad I finally was able to put a video out and I really appreciate it. Um, I actually just hit 200 subs and I know that's not a lot in the world of YouTube or social media, but it's really big for me and I really appreciate you being here and you listening and, um, yeah, I hope I can be more consistent with this. So yeah, thanks guys. I'll see you in the next one. Yo, give me all your money. Oh well, yeah? What are you, you going to do about it, huh? What are you, you going to do about it? What are you going to come over here and like, you know, you're going to beat me up? What, you, you gonna, what do you think you're going to do? You, you know what? I don't have anything, but what, you know what I, I know what I do have? I got something for you. Just hold on, hold on. I got something for you, bro. Come on. What are you gonna do? Huh? Bam! Oh, Frodo Baggins. Hopeless. Ever late. Always early. Just like me. I don't think that's what he said. <laughs>